have rolled back, back the time a bit since I took a peek at a walkthrough and one of the places we blew up actually turns out to be useful. I personally blame the game for giving us such a shiny button with which we can destroy planets. Hmm. See. So the uh, point I loaded back to, I believe, is where we have spoken to the cruelest ulv guy who told us about the other places that he wants us to go destroy. And... We should go to the wrap to and, uh, see by that I make it ninety three twenty. Yeah. I knew making notes was a good idea. So, glancing around at this walkthrough, it seems that... Uh, so there are a few threads. Well, for each clone that you can f follow to find them. And... Uh, the game randomly starts you off at a spot. Oh. Huh. Well, that was quick. So, I guess we had already visited this <laughs> place on the save. Oh well, save some time. But you were saying, several different plot threads that we can pick at and... Yes, and the game starts you at the... Hmm. Hmm. Game seems to have frozen. Hmm. We were having issues with this before we began recording today, dear viewers. Yes. Okay. So let's try this again. This time I shall turn off the emulator's turbo function for the floppy drive. That has been known to cause problems in some old games. I wonder why. Like, is it related to the... Does the game read the speed of the floppy drive, or...? Hmm. I never actually looked into that. Okay, so... Okay. Let's... Well, the... the, the f huh. But it's not... There is no button to indicate we've all, that we would have already been down there. No, just the, the fact that we sort of immediately arrived at our destination. Yeah. But sort of on that, there are some old Sierra games where they read your computer or device's mm. clock speed, and that's how much you have to do, for example, the workout machine in Leisure Suit Larry 3. Yeah. That. A certain number of rips based on your processor speed. Mm -hmm. Well, this seems to be going better now. Yes. Now we're in sweet vector scenery. Yes, and another fun thing with the old Sierra Adventures is uh, with the first version of the graphical adventure engine. If you set the set the uh, uh, animation and movement speed to fastest, upon which it will literally go pretty much as fast as your con computer can do it. 
You see, now I'm just thinking of, like, Stan from Monkey Island just wildly flailing his arms around. Just a whole game of that. Mm. Nice stopping there. That looked like you almost hit that. Yes. I imagine I almost did. It's a, a little confusing coming back to this one, so I take it that in this timeline we haven't spoken to the person we are about to meet. Correct. So the I don't know what notes I have taken from this guy, so what a well, mystery. Well, we need to find stuff and stuff from him we haven't learned before anyway, so this is true, that's why we're here. Hmm. To an extent, I'm kind of surprised that there is a walkthrough. Because it seems like the kind of game where like the, the five planets are going to be randomly generated, but the route to get there is also randomly generated. Well, well based on at least this walkthrough, it's not all that random. <coughs> I guess it's more that they are placed randomly, so the huge universe is really more just a... Well, mainly the gameplay function it serves is to keep you from sequence breaking. Yeah. But basically it's a really big box with not much in it. Hmm. Okay, now we... Look at that scenery go. Yes, and this is great, me cruel is far. Yes, his name is Good Nonsense. And we want. We, this is precisely what we wanted to find on Planet Trap 2. Yes, that is where we are. So, uh, I guess we'll introduce ourselves in turn. Hmm. <coughs> okay. He doesn't seem much interested in that. Mm -hmm. So, uh, hmm. Uh, let's flatter him a bit. Precisely. It seems like that's the sort of thing these guys want. Mm. Both this and the other military race. Uh, how about you? Great uh, uh, warrior. Right. Kill warrior. You destroy brain. Mm. <coughs> right. Uh. I wonder if that means he's very strong but not very smart. Mm -hmm. I mean, that seems to be the the thread going with the coolest guys. Mm. Uh, let's uh, let's say, for example, this me search duplicate. Ah, me search enemy curse. Me search danger. Mm -hmm. uh, uh. Tubular Brain is a fun prompt to have left that on. I'm looking forward to rediscovering that.
Danger Missile. Hmm. <clears throat> Did we establish what Danger Missile was? Like, is, is, is that a place or is it an object? No, we have not figured that out. Missile 6, Cruelis Ulf. Curse. Hmm. Okay, danger equals six, spirit. Hmm. Very chatty, but we're not really getting what we want. Danger, not feeling. Yes, we've seen that before. Female, not danger. Me, like danger. Yes, go ahead. I can take care of the females for you. In <laughs> that was our very first sub-quest. Yes. the female. Genetic is actually the name of the cruelest group we met. <coughs> and that is where he is located. You not destroy great You not destroy great destroy. Oh well. Again, again maybe great destroy is somebody's name. Right, destroy, friend, me, give bounty. Ah, oh, yeah. Great, destroy, give information. You kill Howdy Prison. Oh. Right. This is new, so I guess that's. location of how the prison you see what I got from that is that this guy wants me to bring him the green guy from that other planet or I again I could be reading too much into this how about the green guy uh, the other crewless no, that, that was uh, pink I think possibly you, you, you've played this more than I. Oh. I could be misremembering. Huh, and here I thought you were the expert. <laughs> no, we, we're just... We're, we're getting through it together. We're fine. Oh, um... Now, I, I believe he wants us to guilty other cruelists and... Great... Great destroy... Right, uh, you kill insult four. Hmm, so it might be talking about the clone number four. Could be. Okay. So. Okay. You kill, destroy. Hmm. Uh. 
<coughs> oh, great information. My blood. Huh. I mean, he says goodbye, but doesn't that... Oh, okay. So I, I thought the flapping mouth indicated there was more dialogue to come. Okay. Mm. So, now we have new places to visit. How the prison... I like these names, though confusing they ma may be sometimes. It's one of the problems with like trying to apply strict logic to what these guys are saying, because I seem to recall there was another character we were wondering what he was trying to say, mm. but we, we, we think that was just his name. <laughs> Also reminds me of uh, the story of how the kangaroo got got that name. If I recall, isn't it the native language for I don't know or I don't understand or something like that? Yeah, something like I don't understand or what did you say? <coughs> I was once told a similar story about the the snake Adder, in that it apparently used to be called Nada, hmm. but because of the English language using a n in front of vowels, the the n shuffled over one, and it it, it changed. Hmm. Again, I don't know if this is an apocryphal tale, just what my English teacher taught me. <laughs> hmm. I also have heard that. The Wolverine has been sometimes go called Glutton. <laughs> Just at, as in English, it's called Glutton? Yeah. Okay. Which makes sense, since to my knowledge it is one of the few animals that will at least attack anything that comes it encounters regardless whether it is actually actively threatening or it is hungry. Yeah. I mean, that's... Again, keeping that going, where the Marvel character got his name from. Hmm. He's a, a tiny, ferocious character. Yes. Also, I... I may have mentioned to you t also w why he's named Logan. I honestly don't recall that one. Do tell. As I recall, it's an ironic name since Mount Logan is the tallest mountain in Canada. <laughs> That's a pretty good one if that is true. So, glen glancing at this walkthrough, it appears that, well, at least according to this, the other place we learned about is indeed named Insult 4. Excellent. What a fantastic planet name. Hmm. Hello. You're quite right, he is mostly pink. Hmm. Howdy. Yes, this is Howdy Prison. <laughs> Planet. Me, Bad Trap. So, is that your name? Or you, small? Hmm. Oh. He might be the first one who doesn't doesn't go all ego stroking and call us great. <coughs> mm -hmm. 
-hmm. Well, let's disagree with him. I don't think he like that. Counterproductive. Hmm. Well, I guess that depends on which planet you are destroying. This bit is true. But generally, the people have been describing the planets they are on, unless hmm. they have been specifically naming it. Because I also told about the person called Great Destroy. <laughs> Great Destroy Planet Great Trap. Uh -huh. That seems like that that something should be written down. Very forthcoming. Um, just, yeah, we haven't come across any mention of those coordin coordinates before. Bye, curse. Well, I think that's all, all we needed to learn from him anyway. Let's check out Insult 4 before. I'm going to say hi to Great Destroy. Forty four twenty one, I think. I have forty four twenty one for planet in sulfur. <laughs> Reminds me of the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. In that one of the reasons aliens don't much come here is because we have a country called Belgium. Hmm? <laughs> also, I remember... Is <coughs> 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 it... Uh, maybe the planet where... They are uh, present... So, the heart of gold. That was it an island named France? <laughs> and there was a footnote that no, there's no connection. It just happens to be named France. A lot of Douglas Adams' humor stems from, like, trying to explain stuff in alien languages in very boring terms. There's, um, switching up series, the opening of Starship Titanic is, um, it's about two paragraphs long, explaining that this is an ev event that name doesn't exist in English but it's the kind of event where they sell those terrible sandwiches. <laughs> and it, it, it's immediately recognizable without introducing this weird alien word to describe it. 
Huh? Speaking of which, didn't Douglas Adams do uh, a book called The Meaning of Leaf? Yes. It's which, not... Sorry, go ahead. Which was all about uh, giving names to things that you think should have names. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it, 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 it's, it's not like a storybook, it is a dictionary, but... As you say, s- s- stuff that should have names but doesn't yeah. now does. <laughs> yeah, like uh... oh, oh, press the wrong button. I read the I read the uh, Finnish version the of only... it, which actually uses Finnish place names. <laughs> so, which is well done. Like uh, I remember one. One entry there was a. Uh, well, it wouldn't really mean much to uh, mention the place name used, but the definition given for it was stealing wor- uh, the activity of stealing worthless items like uh, hotel towels and uh, <laughs> drink coasters. The only one that I remember for that is a word describing a fencing maneuver hmm. wherein you jump on a table and grab the battle axe off the wall. <laughs> <laughs> and I forget what it was called. That's the only sort of definition I remember. Oh, let's see. Who do we meet here? Another cruel is probably. Oh. Uh, so. uh, school is all of insult four. And it equals insult eighty. <coughs> A lot of planet hopping going on in today's episode. Yes. <coughs> yes, those are the coordinates. Hmm. So, is this going to be? Yeah. I mean, he uses the says howdy, but then. Is this when we try to say howdy back? I think he might be playing us. That seems an oddly specific phrase to have given us. Hmm. You can just bow wow? Okay. Bow bow. Okay. <coughs> well, given the grouping here, I guess they are names of something. Yeah. Hmm. Right. <coughs> well, fish. What to talk about here? Hmm. Um, <coughs> might as well try if he knows about his great destroy chap. <laughs> you great destroy planet. So curse, insult, laugh, curse. Ah, ah, missiles again. (laughs) 
What? Would we be able to ask for the coordinates of Danger Missile? Mm, such danger. Danger equals six spirit. In. Danger Missile, you will not fear danger. And again, females. <coughs> sure, we could ask, try asking, but I seem to recall we have tried that before, and it doesn't really get as much of anywhere. Uh, yeah. yeah, it seems like this is now stock phrases that this guy's given us. Seems new. Merchant. Uh huh. Okay. Ah, there's Ur several new phrases in that one. Okay, urgent rendezvous to go. Okay, he urgently wants to go kill someone. Well. <coughs> What a confusing man. Well, let's try to pop by this great destroyed place now. 140 and 53. Just thinking about it. Oh, was it? I, d I don't know. This game remains a mystery after all these years. Oh, yes. By the way, something I found out when playing before. Oh, well, myself a bit was pressing the I here will show us this view of the planet. Which kind of makes me want to play Star Control 2 again. Sure. What do these little radar blips indicate? I don't know, maybe it mm, shows there's something on the planet that makes it worth uh, maybe. trying to check out. Or is it the case of, it's in the manual? Mm. Like so many things of this generation. Especially some simulation in games in back in the day could have a manual that's well over a hundred pages. Oh goodness, yes. I had a copy of Sim Isle Missions in the uh, the Jungle. And similar sort of thing. It came with a novel that explained how the game worked. Hmm. It was pretty tough. Uh -huh. Also, Stone Keep, which I think I've shown you a bit bits of. It originally came with a well, not a novel, but a novella or a short story, which was something like I think 40, 60 pages long, which explained a lot of backstory. <laughs> mm. 
not really necessary for playing the game, but helps you figure out a lot of what the hell is going on. Very similar to this one, I do believe. Hmm. Although the, the the backstory for this one is considerably shorter. Yes. This one, do you know if Cadaver came with anything? Because I know that it, it, that's a, a game you're you're a fan of. So. Yes. Um, not, not really see. Not remember. I, honestly, I don't know. No, okay. I've never seen a, like a like a first release boxed copy of it, but it. Uh, but if you do, just let it uh, be in that the opening title screen. It does show a fair bit of text explaining how we got here. That's pretty cool. I'm just aware of them doing stuff like... Most famously, the Chaos Engine. And the plot was all explained on the title screen, which is, there are monsters, push fire, let's go. Mm. Ooh, another good one. Uh, Dreamweb, with its theory of a mad... Open parentheses, question mark, close parentheses, man. <coughs> I actually didn't know that Dreamweb came with fluff. Yeah, it's actually very well done, and it's all uh, like uh, made to look like it's handwritten. And at one point, the main character he just st stops sleeping because of the stuff he sees in his dreams, and the handwriting uh, deteriorates, as you might imagine. Yeah. Howdy. Yes, we found Great Destroy on the planet Great Trap. Hmm, what do we want? Well, let's try. We want. Ah, oh, we can't choose duplicate. Uh, oh, I. Seems bizarre, that's what we're here for. Oh, but... Well, a phrase we've seen a fair bit it is... Information, or great information. We uh, like information on enemy. Okay, um... Hmm. Well, let's just do the Metal Gear, play the Metal Gear parroting game. <coughs> Me search enemy. Okay. See, again, what I'm taking from it is that he wants information as to where the other cruelists can be found. Yes. So, uh, but like, I don't know. Okay, so... Uh, uh, see... One. Uh, how about... Information about the planets? Uh, which enemy destroy planet mission enemy <coughs> hmm. Hmm. hmm well I'm relying on T walk through here again, but we are, we are supposed to tell him the names of the planets, which... Uh, let's see, forget, forget if this, there should be 
be an equals mark. So let's say, for example, a bad trap. You? No. 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 Told you, and he also likes to undoyant the females. As much as these guys have been talking up the Ondeantes, they'd, they'd better be good when we find one. Mm. I mean, I recall you say they they change based on your personal actions, but I don't know. Oh, they they like they uh, a psychic in that they or oh, how they look to you uh, corresponds to how the Ondeante likes you. Aha. So if they if they really like you, they look oh lovely dreamy if if they despise you they look nightmarish that's a spectacularly useful evolutionary trait hmm. so not very good for keeping secrets or the de deception or stuff this is true <clears throat> Is the game perhaps suggesting we give him coordinates? Hmm. Maybe. <coughs> well. We should try this again. Well, I mean, so we have several planets that have the Krulis Ulv on it, so... Mm. He wants identity, not coordinates. So. Ah, okay. Okay, so... I... 
Mm, if I'm reading my notes right, I think so, trap four. Yeah. Okay. So let's try saying it. If I'm reading my notes right, Trab 4 is the first guy we found who said go and blow up all those other planets. Yes. And then we did, like madmen. Yes. And now we also need to... There's a bad trap. Right. All of the. Uh, let's see now, where are they? Insult 80. <coughs> yes, 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 I think we get the idea. Insult me. That, no, that's the name of the place. Seems like these people are a bit confused about the names also. I'm glad it's not just me. Yes, great. Great warrior. Yes, great information. You go planet idea 7-6-2 And what do we find there? Who knows? Bye! Well... Yeah, I probably should have uh, posted a video a fair time ago, but... These seem to be going for a, a good length of time. I like these. Yes, well, let's pause here for now. And yes, indeed.